Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Yeah, people, it's Wednesday afternoon and once again, time for Basis Loaded. I am Joe Schmidt, joined as always by Paige Driscoll. And this is where the rubber meets the road as far as dairy prices go. So let's dive right in with butter. Butter coming in at 192.59. This is a very disappointing butter number. Uh, almost a full four cent under the weekly average at the CME of 196 quarter. It's also interesting to see that we had big volume. So five and a half million pounds traded on this week's NDPSR. That's about two million pounds over the typical weekly average. So what that tells us, because the NDPSR came in at such a discount to the CME weekly average, lets us know that manufacturers had to discount to move that extra weight. And it's interesting, you know, at the end of the year at the CME, we had a push higher north of $2 and end users didn't buy it. They didn't fall for that trick one bit because we're running negative basis. And this is now the second week in a row that you have significantly negative butter basis. And we'll see how that acts going forward. Again, this report seems to be full of disappointments. Let's continue on with cheese. Now, when you compare these cheese numbers to historical basis, they're not all that bad. Uh, we are pretty close to in line, but compared to some of the basis that we've seen recently, I guess you would say it's a little bit of a disappointment and certainly both the block and barrel numbers are a little bit lower than I expected. Here at 187.65 in the block, I have that as a penny and a half over the two week CME average of 186.18. So typically a basis in blocks runs about two, but as you know, we've been running significantly higher than that. Good volume though. So maybe that's a reason why we had a little bit of a contraction in basis. We're still moving some really good weight up here in the 190 neighborhood. However, the basis is not as high as it has been in prior weeks. And then again in the barrel, also good volume. A million pounds under the block volume here at 12,582,236. But again, that basis in the barrel is only five cents over the two week average of 166.21. So that also is a little bit less than we've been running lately. And I think it's interesting on this break at the CME, you know, we went from 225 all the way down to 150. So that's a 75 cent break on the CME, very substantial price movement. Here on the NDPSR, we've already seen 55% of those, or 55 cents of that 75 cent break getting into actual values on the NDPSR. So we're staying pretty current. I would expect that the low end of the barrel move doesn't get anywhere near that 150 mark. And judging by futures, I think most futures traders would agree. And then here we are to disappointing number, number four, uh, way 3260 down a little bit. You know, we hung out around that 34 level 33, I'm sorry, 33 half, 33 level for a while. I was expecting a little bit of a downtick on way this week. We traded 17 loads on the exchange. That equates to 731,000 pounds. This way volume is massive. So it's 2.8 million pounds over the normal 5 million pounds that I would expect on any given week. And if you subtract out, the 731,000 that we traded on the exchange, you're still talking about an extra 2 million pounds that went in. And judging by this number and the fact that we are well below two weeks prior average, I'm guessing that they had to discount, they had to discount that product to move that extra weight. So that's why we see the lower value. And since we put this value in, it's interesting because next week at similar 31-ish CME level, we trade 1.6 million pounds. The week after that, we trade 2.3 million pounds. So for the next two weeks, we have significant volume traded at the exchange, and those prices are gonna go in at that CME level at the 31 half-ish minus the freight allowance. So I think way is gonna drag a little bit, and it's interesting on the futures today, we saw the futures take off with all the enthusiasm that we saw on spot, but I think it's gonna be 
a little bit difficult for the NDPSR to keep up. And then lastly, you know, why not wrap it up with one positive number? One out of five isn't bad. Uh, Non-fat, here at 123.34, this is almost not negative basis, almost not negative after several months of running big negative basis. Good volume too. So here at 123.34, that's about 0.6 cents under the CME weekly average of 123.94. So we had a little bit of a contraction on the CME in terms of weekly average, and that basis caught up. Now next week, the CME average drops another penny. I have a feeling that we're gonna have positive basis in non-fat on next week's report. I think that the NDPSR number will print over that CME weekly average. So it'll be really interesting to have positive non-fat basis for the first time in recent memory. Uh, we'll see. You know, this is the second week of Jan pricing, the second of five. And I think it should be, you know, I'm just going to throw a block number out there since we launched the block futures this week. I'm coming up with a January block of 189.27. There are no futures to compare that to. The first futures contract is February. So stay tuned for those estimates. And I said on our first report that I was expecting Jan around the 1717 17 area. Since then, weighs a little bit lower. And of course, uh, we had some lower than expected cheese and the CME averages broke for the final two weeks of barrel pricing for Jan. So I'm thinking that the January class three comes in around 17 even, which is still 37 cents premium to my class four estimate of 1663. So we still have a typical class three, class four relationship as far as Jan. But if you look out again, if you look out at the futures forward curve, you have class four futures printing well over class three, anywhere from 40 to 50 cents. So at some point, people will expect that this strength in non-fat continues, and I guess we're looking for some lower cheese values. That's why we trade it every day. We'll see what happens. Uh, until next week, I'm Joe. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.